Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall. I'm just entering the town of Chester Market in the region of Anticlear. And last time we failed to put down a dragonling that a uh, young boy had managed to hatch the egg for and let the dragon run loose in his house and oh what trouble it caused and it turns out that not only was the dragon Lin able to escape by clipping through into the void where I couldn't touch it but it also seems that someone has sent assassins after me to make the point that I should not be investigating this whole Lysandus matter. Not that it's going to stop me, but you know. I may just try going in here. Rest, loiter, three hours. May be able to find a decent set of Daedric gauntlets in here. So who knows? No. Much. Uh, I'm afraid the wares here are all pretty standard fare iron and steel. Never mind. May as well deposit some letters of credit here. There we go. I still have 9,000 gold and I have a princely sum of 418,000 ish in my account at the Bank of Anticlear. Fantastic. Now, maybe if I change tack and instead go and do a quest for the Fighters Guild, that will let the heat die down at the Mages Guild some. Oh, I'm locked out. Uh, what time is this place open again? 11. Right. Let's just wait around for a couple of hours. Enemies nearby. Oh, so there are. Barbola Woodford says, Who were those barbarians? They almost killed you. Maybe you should just forget about Lysander's ghost. Well, that's... Worrying. I bet this says the same as before. Yes, they are watching my every move. Ah, here's the, the man for quests. Howdy, Dermy Gale. If you got a few days free, a job just came in for some giant killing, and I thought of you. Interested? You bet. Right. Seems there's this giant moved into the laboratory of Edwar a while back and has been having a fine old time feasting on Rodorian Greensley's sheep in the area. Yet a few of the local villagers too, I guess. 
but old Rodori and Greensley don't seem too concerned about that. At any rate, he wants this giant taken care of within 17 days and he's paying 790 gold for it. See you in a bit. Alright, now we're talking. Laboratory of Edwar. Very well. <coughs> A laboratory of Edwar. <coughs> there it is. All right, here we go. Again. Here we go, guys. The laboratory of Edward. I'm just going to drop a recall anchor here. Always a good move when you first start out a dungeon. Who's this? Sorcerer. Very well, I won't bother casting spells at you since. You'll probably just absorb them. They didn't have much. Who's this? She was nowhere near as tough. No matter. Oh, this lady is a sorceress. Let's just pick her pocket a little bit. And a few swings of the long blade later. Down she goes. What else is. Passage. Oh dear. That's a very old sorcerer. After us, didn't he? Now that hurt. But we're okay. We made it. A dangerous heart. Which I can't carry. We'll just heal a little bit and keep going. Wonder what the mage is wanted with a giant. Let's take a little wander up here. Let's go for a back step. Here we go. Ooh, did it. 
sword. Uh, drop about 2,000 gold. Take all right, another 1,000. Certainly get more than that for the long sword. Again. Right, I think we've reached the end of this passage. Just check for no, no secret doors I can see. Let's just return and carry on a little bit further. did come this way. That's a giant. Where is he though? Definitely been in this part. Okay, so we've explored just about the full extent of this branch. Let's carry on a little further. I hate when these things jump out at me. Let's try healing a little bit. Did she just blow herself up? Silly Magi. Never mind. Let's remove this Daedric weapon and keep going. Might be worth switching the flail in for a, a go here. Lots of gold, which I can't carry because I'm too overloaded. Let's go down here. Cast the slow falling. We'll jump over this. Here. 
Yes, it turns out that when you've been practicing. You don't exactly punch like a heavyweight. However, I can still swing a spiky Daedric ball with the best of them. Heal the little bit again. Really, the last thing we want is. To walk into a situation where. We're caught low in health. A couple of big hits takes us down. Funny as well, the sorcerer for all their magical prowess seems to be much more inclined to say smash things with a a giant club. I tend not to be too well armoured. So the chances of any of these guys having a fine set of Daedric gauntlets are going to be remote, to say the least. in this way. I can hear him. Where is he? There he is. The giant roars in pain. You hear the sound of heavy footsteps coming towards you. Perhaps the giant invited a few friends over for dinner. Oh. I was not expecting. Wow. Ow, okay. Definitely not time for the bow. I don't have 
thing to me. Mm. Mm. Oh dear. Mm. Coming, do they? Well, that's going to beat things a little bit. Fun trying to get out of here. Okay, so the original one's still in here. Form the tunic magical too. Unfortunately, completely vulgar. I'm not going to wear that. Oh, there's still more. Information that the quest's over. Who are you? Hello, Victor Mastersmith. Hold on. Thank Mara you're here. I was on my way to market yesterday when the giant carried me off along with four other merchants I was travelling with. I already ate them. I guess it was saving me for later. Will you please help me get out of this place? I'll never make it alone. Yes. Come with me. You're a true hero. Let me introduce myself. I'm the Victor Mastersmith of Penark. I was on my way to Lord Redictor's warehouse in Broadcroft. If you could drop me off there, I would be forever in your debt. Broadcroft. Alright. Follow me. It's definitely this way, I remember this brazier. And I believe it was the Rod Croft he wanted to go to. places to the north. Lady Tristier's merchandise. Lady Edward Sundries.
Lord Redemptor's Warehouse. I've enjoyed your company, dear Miguel. You saved my life and I won't forget it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go back to Chester Market. Fighter's Guild. head due east until we hit the wall. We can then move south and get to the Fighter's Guild deck. Scale building. We'll hand this quest in. And we'll call it a day from there. Oh, it's not open yet. Oh, if we hang around for now, it will be. Hey, old friends, giant slain. Hail the giant killer. I knew they were the right one for the job. Here's the 790 gold. Hey, here's a map to Rodorian's Hold. One of the other chaps found the other day. If I was a couple years younger, we could tear through it together, just like the old days. Oh, that sounds interesting. Right. 
recipe, 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 recipe. I have an awful lot of recipes. What's this? Some of these actually have multiples of. Oh, how did I get this? Dear McGill, my good friend Lord Woodborne says you are a hero that can be trusted. I am truly indebted to you if you would stop by sometime to chat. Maybe you could even do something for me. I would be also grateful. Princess Elisana, Castle Weirist. Well, since she did ask so nicely, I think we're going to have to go to Castle Weirist and uh, find out what the Princess Elisana would like. Not that I trust Lord Woodborne any, but... Uh, Maybe she needs to be set straight about a few things. All right. Well, thank you for tuning into this episode of Let's Play Daggerfall. I hope to see you next time and have a nice day. <laughs>